Thank you, first of all, to the four speakers. I think who has uh, presented uh, a very, I guess, uh, correct point of view and uh, correct information in terms of uh, the effect of uh, fracturing or coal seam mining is likely to have uh, on the environment and uh, and uh, the population. Um, I'm, I'm pleased in some ways that although the, there are a number of uh, faiths represented here, but the sort of uh, theme which is emerging from, from the two faiths uh, who have uh, already presented their point of view, that uh, the same sort of sentiments are, are going to be repeated. And uh, Hindu faith in, in, in some ways, uh, although it's, uh, it's a different religion and different faith, but the ideology and uh, the key points are still going to be pretty much the same and I'm going to present uh, some of those uh, which you yourself will be able to see that uh, no matter which faith you believe in or come from, they all are saying the right thing, it's the human, I think that's where the problem lies. Um, Hindus, uh, like uh, has been said before, also believe in in the unity of all existence and uh, gold pervades all animate and inanimate objects. Hindus uh, worship uh, the earth, the sun, the rivers, the trees and the animals. So here we go that uh, we believe in uh, the preservations of all these uh, nature's elements. In our religion, we pray the Mother Earth, we salute the Sun, we worship the water, the Ganges, we worship trees, we worship Holy Cow, because uh, that provides us the, the milk, it gives us the nutrition and uh, the food. In terms of uh, the Hindu religion, we have uh, a lot of uh, old literature which is uh, based on, I guess, uh, the saying or uh, the belief of uh, the old Rishis or saints who meditated in isolated environment and they wrote a lot of uh, old things. The main Hindu scriptures are divided into two broad uh, categories uh, what we call Sruti and Smriti. Sruti is uh, that's what could be heard. It contains uh, four Vedas and 108 Upanishads. And Smriti is which uh, is remembered. It includes uh, the great ep epics of uh, Ramayana, Mahabharata and the book of, uh, the law book of uh, Manu Smriti. Now, the, the Bhagavad Gita contains basically the gist of uh, Hindu philosophy in uh, several hundred verses and uh, 18 chapters. And I'll give you a couple of quotations from some of these old uh, books. In Atharva Veda, one of the verses says that earth in which the seas, the rivers and many waters lie from which arise foods and fields of grain, abode to all that breathes and moves, may she confer on us her finest tree. In similar ways, one of the, the words from Upanishad says, everything within the world is possessed by God. He pervades both the animate and inanimate, therefore, one should only take one's fair share and leave the rest to the Supreme. So when it comes to, to mining and faith in mining, I, I agree and it probably has been said that uh, I believe greed is, uh, is probably one of the drivers. Whether it's the individual greed or whether it's greed from the multinational mining companies. They don't really care what happens to the environment or what happens to the particular uh, population of uh, part of the country or the country, 
all they have they have the predictions that what are going to be the the financial gains in the next five years, ten years, and so on and so forth. And uh, in case of uh, coal seam mining, like uh, many of other old mining areas, I mean, now we have the environmental regulations for mining. Fifty hundred years ago, we did not have. And if you look at the hallmark of those old mining sites, you can go to the old mining towns. You can see the disaster what we created. Likewise, with the coal seam mining, we haven't, we don't understand even one percent what it could cause because nobody has really studied the, the, the limited information what we have in coal seam mining is uh, mind-boggling, and we already have so many holes in the ground on the belief that the effect of this uh, is uh, minimal in, in terms of uh, uh, to the general population or the environment. So that's not true. I think uh, one, should, uh, one should gather more information before venturing into it. Before I leave, I, I would like to just uh, take a couple of more minutes that uh, uh, in our religion, the whole world is considered as a family. And I think we should learn to live with minimal, happily, and as uh, Mahatma Gandhi said, the rich must live more simply so the poor may simply live. Thank you very much.